Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Today I'm going to be fitting a DC to DC charger and a inverter from Renogy. I'm going to be fitting that to my van here, which is the VW Crafter. It's already got some systems fitted to it, um, but just thinking about upgrading them and I'll show you why. This is the current setup. I've got a Sterling Power DC to DC charger. Annoyingly, it's not coming on at the minute, but it is really loud when it comes on and finding it quite annoying. Not only that, it doesn't seem to be charging the battery as well as I'd hoped. So I fitted the Renogy solar panels and I'm going to fit the complete Renogy system, which is this so, uh, Renogy DC to DC charger and uh, an upgraded inverter as well. This is fitted behind the seat on the bulkhead of the van. Okay, so we've got the DC to DC charger here and we have our new replacement inverter right here. So this has got a remote on and off switch. It is a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter this one. And we've got our cables underneath and power supply plug. It's got a household plug here on and off switch. Other side remote plug is there. Other side we have our fans and power supplies connections. And if we come over to this, let's have a look inside. I'm hoping this one's going to be a lot quieter than the one I'm currently using. And just a little bit better at powering up the auxiliary batteries. We've got some more cables, I'm not sure what they're for just yet. I'll have to go through. And here we have the unit. Let's get that out. It's a 40 amp. So you've got your battery supply in and out, and then your alternator supply. Sorry, plus, negative, and then you're obviously in for your alternator. Okay, so the first difference as I can see here is the Sterling just uses plain cable going in. The Renogy is going to need a eyelet, sort of putting on the cable here so we can get it attached under this. You could sort of wedge the cable under there, but I'm not happy with that. Okay, so just over here we have the battery temperature sensor or battery monitor sensor that goes to the negative cable over here. Next we are looking for a ignition live. And we can see here that if we turn the ignition on we have an ignition live there. So we're going to get that now connected straight onto the positive side. Need to tidy up these as well maybe with some heat shrink. So the ignition live is going to go in here. So now we choose our battery type, which is AGM. And we select that there. So you've got different colours you can press on this. Blue, white, red, green. Green is for your AGM battery. So on here you've got two options for the inverter, which is you can switch it on or you can connect it to a remote, which is this, this cable right here. So that's what I've opted to do on this one, and I'll show you how I've done that. So I've removed some of the floor in here and what I'm doing is feeding the cable up into the dashboard of the van. I've removed this panel and I've fitted the switch just here. So next to my USB switches I've put some of these here as well. So now I can turn the inverter on and off from the dashboard. So I don't need to move my seat forward like I had to do with this. The old unit I had to sort of move the seat forward so I could switch it on and off. It didn't have the remote function on it and also this one isn't a pure sine wave inverter but obviously the one from Renogy now that I fitted it is pure sine wave so it'll be more efficient. Okay so that is it we have now put all of the flooring back together and we have our unit set up on the dash. What was the whole point of doing this you might ask and the reason why I've done this is looking for something to make the system I've got in the van a bit more efficient. So in terms of the inverter I had, it wasn't a pure sine wave inverter, so just very inefficient. Takes a lot more um, current from the battery to get the same amount of output that you would from an upgraded version like I've got now. I didn't have an on and off switch, which has made it very difficult to get behind the seat and switch it off every time. Um, with the switch on the dashboard, you're less likely to forget that the inverter is switched on, which will drain your batteries and kill it. And also the 
DC to DC charger that I had beforehand was very very noisy because it's fitted in the cab so if you're parked the loud whizzing of it was um, a real pain um, so the one I fitted now is sort of silent um, yeah so that's it hopefully my I can get a bit longer out of my um, leisure batteries now I've upgraded my leisure battery also to an AGM deep cycle battery or whatever you call it um, so hopefully this should solve some of the issues that I was having See you on the next video.